Hi guys, here we go again. Chapter 8, part 4. Today we're continuing to use the past perfect in the negative, meaning we use not or the contraction hadn't. So to talk about recent new experiences. So let's hear an example. Have you heard about Harry? No, I haven't. What happened? He broke his leg last week. That's terrible. How did he do that? He was roller skating, and he had never roller skated before. Poor Harry. I hope he feels better soon. Ah, oh, poor Harry. He got hurt. When we read, he was roller skating, and he had never roller skated before, we are saying that this was Harry's very first time to go roller skating ever in his entire life. And we're also implying a few things. We're implying that he wasn't very good at it and that that's why he broke his leg, okay? So these next few pages are full of daring and adventurous people who are all trying new things, which is awesome, but because they're still learning, they are getting hurt, whoops. But let's do a few examples together and then it'll be your turn. Okay, number one, Tom. Have you heard about Tom? No, I haven't. What happened? He twisted his ankle last week. That's terrible. How did he do that? He was flying a kite. And he had never flown a kite before. Aw, poor Tom. I hope he feels better soon. Number two. Have you heard about Peggy? No, I haven't. What happened? She injured her knee last week. That's terrible. How did she do that? She was skiing, and she had never skied before. Poor Peggy. I hope she feels better soon. Psst. Make sure you do number 12. It exercises your brain one way to take words and phrases and put them together into a conversation, and that's an important step of learning another language, but it is so much better work for your brain and solidifying these concepts to create your own example. So I actually encourage you to create several different of your own examples. And we have one more activity for today called, have you seen them? So you should see on your screen the structure of a sample conversation. And let me read you the example. A, have you seen Betty since she had her baby? B, no, I haven't. The last time I saw Betty, she hadn't had her baby yet. So you can see you have lots of different examples of people and actions to complete different types of this same conversation. We are almost done, but let me give you a few tips for your homework, which is pages 92 and 93 in your workbook. So let's look at the example in number two. In this sentence, you will see a time expression that should look very, very familiar. Already. So remember that already means ya. Yeah. And notice that we place already between the auxiliary verb had and the past participle. Let's look at the example in number three. We have another familiar time expression here. Yet. So remember that yet means todavía no. Bueno, pues algo así. And we usually use yet with 
negative sentences and in questions. And in both cases, yet is usually at the end of the sentence. So don't forget those those structural tips for already and yet, and just make sure that you think about these questions and answers on these workbook pages really logically, what makes the most sense, and then answer that way. Okay, thanks for all your work. And